Hi, my name is Dr. Anamika Joshi. I'm an eye surgeon and I'm super specialized in oculoplasty. So oculoplasty also consists of watering. That means I'm also a watering specialist. So today we'll talk about uh, persistent watering, which is due to tear drainage pathway blockage. And what is the surgery for it? The surgery is BCR. So what is the reason of tear duct drainage pathway? How does it occur? When it occurs, what is the exact thing that is going inside the eye? And how do we treat it with the surgery DCR? Okay, so first to understand the problem, you should know what is normal. So if this is our eye and this is our nose, normally from the side of the eye, that is from the side of the eye, our normal tears are produced. So these tears are produced from here and then there are two small holes. If you observe closely, you will be able to see that you have two small holes. Now through these two small holes, the tears drain and then there is a structure called as canaliculus followed by one water sac. This is our water sac followed by another pipe known as nasolacrimal duct. So the tears normally go from here to the nasolacrimal duct into the nose and into our throat. Now this is normal but if you have blockage in any part of this pathway then you can get something called as tear duct pathway drainage problems. So uh, suppose if you have a blockage here this is one of the most common blockages that we see in our practice which is known as NLDO that means nasolacrimal duct obstruction so when you have obstruction here you have a blockage here then what happens tears instead of going inside they come out and there is a backflow and that's why you get watering also one more thing that happens is tears also get collected in the water sac and this is a big problem because anywhere tears or anywhere water is static it gets collected it is a nidus of infection. So what happens is here is our water sac and tears get collected here because they are not able to dra drain downwards. So this problem is known as nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Now why does this problem occur? In most of the cases there is no answer as to why did you get it. Did you do something wrong as to get this problem? So answer is no. It just happens and there is no particular reason. However, this problem is seen more commonly in middle-aged females in the age group of 30 to 45 or uh, even other, other patients like males and younger children, older, we get in all uh, patients but it's more common in this age group. Also, it's more common in people who have a deviated nasal septum. That means your nose is not equal on both the sides and your septum can be deviated to one side. Uh, so that that also causes you know more chances of this type of obstruction to occur. So now first uh, This has to be diagnosed very well that what is the level of the blockage for that in an oculoplasty clinic? They will do a simple test called syringing test or they might just see clinically whether pus is accumulating here or not we call it a test like row plus. So when we press here, we get a lot of pus outside. That is a classical hallmark sign that you have this blockage. So once you're diagnosed with the blockage and where exactly the blockage is, the next step is the treatment. So what is the treatment for this condition? There's a surgery called as DCR, that is dacryocystorhinostomy. In simple words, it is basically making a bypass or a new pathway between the eye and the nose. So in this surgery, what we do is, this is our uh, tear sac. So here we make a new pathway. So now the tears will drain from this new pathway into the nose. So this is what we are essentially doing in this surgery. Now this surgery can be done under local anesthesia as well as under general anesthesia based on the surgeon's preference, the patient preference, your pain sensitivity, these things. Also this surgery can be done by an external route and by an internal route. Internal route meaning endoscopically. 
So in our hospital, we do both the types of surgeries endoscopically and externally based on what is right for the patient. Different patient factors like anatomy of nose, the age group of the patient, what are the patient expectations, what was the reason. So based on all these things, we decide whether which route do we want to prefer. Now the issue here is a lot of eye hospitals, they do only an external route and a lot of ENT hospitals, they do only an endoscopic route. But at our hospital, we do both of them and hence we can provide you better chances of uh, success and better outcomes based on what you really need. Now, um, in this surgery, it's basically a 30 to 60 minutes surgery and uh, you don't need to get admitted. You can be discharged on the same day. You will just require two days of bed rest and after that you can continue with your routine activities. Sometimes in the surgery we may also put a tube to keep the new pathway open and we remove that tube generally after one month in the OPD itself. Also uh, the success rate of this surgery is 95%. 5% of cases uh, the new pathway that we made bodies with its reaction can close that pathway also. But that happens less commonly and 95% cases we get very good success rates and after the surgery, watering, pus discharge, everything resolves completely. Now what happens if you don't do this surgery? If you avoid this surgery and you're like, okay, let the watering happen, so what, I'll just wipe it. So if you do that, then because of accumulation of water here in the tear sac, you start getting infections here. That infection can occur anytime. It may take three months or it may take a year. That we don't know when will it occur, but it will surely occur. And once it starts occurring, it will occur repeatedly. Sometimes that infection will spread to the eye and can cause vision problems also. So this surgery is compulsory. It's not optional. You have to have to go for DCR surgery if you are diagnosed with this block by a trained oculoplasty surgeon. Now, uh, what are the risks in this surgery? This surgery is very safe and it causes no problem to the vision or vision of the eye because it's very far from the eye, you know, it's here and your eye is here. So we are not even touching the eye. We are operating on this area where the problem lies. So that is why this surgery is safe and it doesn't cause any vision problems. So uh, if you have problem of persistent watering, you need to first visit an oculoplasty specialist to understand which type of blockage do you have and whether this surgery is indicated in your case or not. And if you are diagnosed with this problem, you must undergo DCR surgery either endoscopically or externally based on what your doctor suggests you and based on what you want.